everyone, it's Natalie. And today's story is about Miriam Mirzahani, who is a world famous mathematician. The joy of math. Miriam Mirzahani grew up in Tehran, Iran. She liked to read and watch TV shows about inspirational women. These stories made her realize she could do something great with her life too. She had ambition. I thought I would become a writer one day, Miriam said. Iran. Iran is a country in Western Asia. Tehran is the capital and largest city. The country was at war when Miriam was a young child. But then Miriam learned more math. At first she said, I got excited about it, maybe just as a challenge. She saw how fun math could be. Even though it could be fun, math wasn't always easy for Miriam. She had a teacher who told her she wasn't talented. This discouraged her, but she didn't let it stop her. In middle school, she made a friend she would keep for life. Miriam and Roya Beheshti encouraged each other's love of math. Sometimes the two made math a competition. Miriam's work was driven by a certain pure joy, Roya said. Breaking barriers. The International Mathematical Olympiad is a math competition for high school students. Iran had never sent a girl to compete. Miriam and Roya wanted to go anyway. The high school for boys had more math classes than the girls' school. This put the girls at a disadvantage in the competition. They asked their principal for new classes. Their principal listened to them. She believed Miriam and Roya could be the first girls to go to the International Mathematical Olympiad. They got the classes. Miriam was able to go to the International Mathematical Olympiad. She won a gold medal. The next year, she went back. She won another gold medal and she got a perfect score. Miriam studied math in college in Iran. You have to spend some energy and effort to see the beauty of math, she said. The more I spent time on mathematics, the more, I, the more excited I became. After Miriam graduated, she decided to go to graduate school in America. English was not her first language. She took her class notes in Persian. She did not always understand what she studied, yet she still wanted to learn more. She would create a picture in her mind of what she thought was happening. Then she would ask if she was right. Changing math. Miriam got excited about studying the math behind curves. What is the shortest distance between two points? On a flat surface, it is a straight line. On a ball, it is a circle. What about a donut shape? What about a donut with many holes? No one knew these answers. That didn't stop Medium. She spent hours drawing her ideas. She spread huge pieces of paper on the floor. She sketched diagrams and formulas. Drawing her ideas helped her see problems in new ways. Medium found, found the answer. She figured out how to find the shortest distance between two points on a donut shape. Medium's discovery helped math mathematicians understand more about other areas of math. It gave old ideas new solutions. Medium continued to look for answers to math problems that, never, that had never been solved. She didn't mind if one problem took her years. She drew the pictures in her mind onto giant sheets of paper until she found an answer. It is like being lost in a jungle, she said. And with some luck, you might find a way out. One day, Miriam got an email. It said she won a big math prize. She thought it was a joke, but it was true. Miriam was the first woman and the first per person from Iran to win the Fields Medal. The Fields Medal. The Fields Medal is the highest honor in math. The medal is awarded every four years. Two to four people get it for doing great work. They are called the best mathematicians in the world. Medium liked challenges. Life isn't supposed to be easy, she said. She found new answers to big questions. She also developed math tools. These tools help other people working on big questions. The little girl from Iran grew up to do great things. Though Medium died of breast cancer at the age of 40, her work lives on and continues to inspire other women and girls to find the exciting side of math. Timeline. 1977, Miriam was born in Tehran, Iran on May 12th. 
1994 and 1995, Meriam wins gold medals at the International Mathematical Olympiad for high school students. 1999, Meriam earns a bachelor's degree in mathematics from Sharif University of Technology in Tehran. 2004, Meriam earns a PhD from Harvard University in Massachusetts. Her PhD is on geodesics, the math of curves. 2004, Meriam becomes an assistant professor of math at Princeton University in New Jersey. 2008, Meriam becomes a professor at Stanford University in California. 2008, Meriam marries John Vondra. 2011, Meriam and John have a daughter, Anahita. 2013, Meriam is diagnosed with breast cancer. 2014, Meriam wins the Fields Medal. 2017, Meriam dies of breast cancer at age 40 on July 14th. Glossary, ambition, a strong wish to reach a goal. Competition, a contest or game. Diagrams, drawings that show or explain something. Disadvantage, less likely to succeed. Formulas, groups of symbols that form a rule about how to do something. International, something that involves two or more countries. Mathematics, the study of numbers, shapes, quantities, and measurements and how they relate to one another. Persian, the language of the country of Iran, also called Farsi. Text-dependent questions. So you can pause the video and practice answering these questions. One, how did Meriam and Roya help each other? Two, how were high school girls in Iran at a disadvantage to the boys? Three, why did Meriam like to draw her ideas? Four, how does Meriam think you can find the beauty in math? Five, what is the Fields Medal? Extension activity. Can you show numbers without writing the numbers? What other math symbols do you know? Find out how other cultures write numbers. Look at how the ancient Romans, Egyptians, and Maya wrote numbers. What is helpful about each system? This is the end of the book. Thank you so much for listening and have a great rest of your day. Bye.